Hey there everyone, welcome back to another No Man's Sky video as always with Captain Beefy and I'm with the Game Vault and we are expanding our base right now. Next thing we need to do is get ourselves a gardener and that's going to take a little bit. Looks like we also need to, uh, yeah we need to refill this thing because we are out of power. So well, let's cue up the music and we'll get right to it. Alright, first off, this should be easy enough. We've got plenty of stuff here to fill this up, I believe. Um, here we go. We'll use the carbon. Why is everything weird? Okay. Yeah, everything was kind of weird right there. Uh, we'll see if there's any more crystals around. We'll get them real quick if I got any in sight, just to be able to keep doing that. And I don't see any. Yep, I've seen none around, so that's fine. So we got to go to another planet. We got to get some selenium so we can make a uh, farmer's thingy in there. I, I forget what it's called. It'll pop up here in a minute. But I just want to verify that we don't have any on any of these other ships. Because I know we picked up a bunch of crap here and there. There's the Iron Vulture. And there's the, I uh, know it's not on the Utopia speeder, but, you know, it won't hurt to check, right? We'll look at each one of these, Solanium, we need. Solarium, whatever it's called. This is a negative. Okay. Iron Vulture. Um, don't see any on there. And I'm pretty sure our Utopia Speeder doesn't have any either. Yeah, didn't think so. Alright. Well, I know there's a planet in the system that has it, so we're going to go ahead and try to... We're going to head over to that planet and grab some real quick. Uh, hmm. going to need the gloves, right? Do I have what it takes? I don't have what it takes to make the gloves. Well, I'm glad I checked, so... We need a little chromatic metal. I've got a refiner. I don't think I've got any more copper for it, um, but we'll take a quick look. And I got cadmium. I don't want to use that stuff though. I'd rather keep that if possible. I'll use copper because copper is so easy to come by. Uh, let's see if we've got any in the immediate area here. Magnetized ferrite. What are we? What is this? Why is that? Copper. Four ninety-five away. Paraffinium. Paraffinium. Dang, there's paraffinium every which way you turn. All right. Well, I guess we'll head over to the copper deposit. We'll grab what copper we have here. We'll see if we can also grab a little bit of. Uh, the, uh, what do you call it, the carbon here, the, the condensed carbon. Look for some crystals, those are always good to get. Don't remember if we need to kill any more creatures. Um, there we go. We'll switch out to this in case we need to. I love these holes in the ground. Ho oh, ho! Doink. Okay. Oh man, I got no free slots. And ooh, what are we gonna get rid of here? Now right, we're just gonna eat that. I keep forgetting how much I need to go ahead and um, expand the suit because it's terrible right now. It's absolutely terrible. It's a pretty good copper deposit though. Let's do this up. Oh. 
It's actually an outstanding copper deposit. Holy crap. Yep, there we go. Alright, so we're going to gather all this up, and then we're going to make some of it, if, eh, maybe we'll make all of it, now some of it, half of it, into chromatic metal for now. Uh, the rest then I'll just keep as copper, just in case I need copper for something. Uh, there are some recipes that call for copper. You know, I can always change it later on if I want to. But i got to get those hazmat gloves. Without them, I won't be able to pick the uh, selenium, and then I'll never be able to get my guy to come to the base, and that would just be heartbreaking. All right. And the reason I don't want to use the cadmium or the um, the other one, uh, it was emerald, is just because it's harder to come by. I have to go to those special systems and all that. Whereas copper, it's pretty much everywhere. It's dime a dozen. And although you don't get the same ratio, I think it's two copper to one chromatic metal. But still, it's it's worth it. Alright, we're almost there. Your creature's screaming in the background. So what really cracks me up about this game is like what we're doing right here. Like look at that horrible mess we made, right? If there's a sentinel nearby, he doesn't care. But you kill one creature and they'll go nuts on you. So yeah, I don't get it. Mine one mineral, like a rock. They don't care. Woohoo! Yep, they absolutely do not care, so it's kind of funny. Alright. Music sounded like tubular bells there for a minute from the Exorcist. Hey there, buddy. Doink. All right, well, we're almost home. and I like that. I think it's funny. I don't like him being so close to my base. Alright, refiner, here we go. We'll take the copper and we'll cut it in half. Yeah, it's two to one. All right, so that'll take a few minutes to process, but we'll get it there. Uh, we could throw some stuff on here, I guess. Currently don't need... Make just a little bit of room for us. check the status of our gloves. Got them. They're good to go. Alright, so always pick up your refiner. And we're out of here, man. We're going to go grab some selenium. And maybe, if we're lucky, some condensed carbon. We just got to find this planet. It's not that one. But we had this one on the radar for a moment. Damn it, it did it again. There we go. 
That's not it. Maybe this one? Nope. This one we can look at. High energy. Hmm. Oh, wait. What's this? Oh, that's the magma moon. That's right. Is there another planet beyond that one? Rainy. I think there's one beyond this guy. And that might be it. Desolate cactus. You see see how the shape of that is? It looks like there's one hidden behind it. I think that's the Solanium planet. Or Solarium, whatever it is. We are definitely making our way over to it. forcing me to latch onto the space station there. So wait a minute, desolate? That's desolate. And that's freezing. Hold on. That's rainy. planet we were on. Alright, we're going to have to look at this, because I know it was here somewhere, right? It's like an incandescent planet. It might be on the other side of this planet here. Hmm. Alright, we're going to head toward this one, and then we're going to turn. Let's see if it's like being eclipsed here. See if we can see it behind here. Maybe that's the case. I don't know. that down there? Is that a small tiny planet? No, that's the magma moon. Yeah, that's the magma moon. So there's nothing behind there. But over here... What's this one? That's that one. That's that one. Desolate. Freezing. It looks like there's something behind. The freezing planet, doesn't it? One thing, we're going to move this over here. And maybe it's behind this one. Alright, well, we're heading back to the space station area. That's, um, yeah. So if you go into third, or if you go into first person from third person when you're in the starship, you can look at the little planetary thing. That's what I was looking at at the bottom. Showing you where planets are. That sometimes will show you where things are hidden. You know, not, or not hidden, but it's just it's currently being blocked by another uh, planet or something like that. You'll be able to see. Oh yeah, it's behind this one. Sometimes if you're flying around looking, you won't see it just because of the angle you are. It'll take a way longer to get there than I anticipated, but all right, whatever. I think it's right behind this one. Fugitive. I 
wonder why that would pop up all of a sudden. You know, it could be a very small planet, I guess. I don't know. So there's the desolate. That's my bountiful. That's my freezing. That's my gamma planet or whatever it is. I don't know what's going on here. There's absolutely nothing behind that one. Three. That's those things. planets this is what the f mm. yeah we're about to leave this system It's weird. It's kind of like it's being blocked and what's that? Desolate. Irradiated. Incandescent. Overgrown. Magma. Bountiful. Wait a minute. here. Where the hell was it? Here it is. So, there's the issue. Here it says it's a desolate planet with cactus flesh. Here it says it's an incandescent planet with selenium. We gotta check this out. I thought I was losing my mind there for a minute, man. I have never seen that mistake before, or that glitch, I should say, or whatever you want to call it. Um, but yeah, once we get in a little bit, we'll be able to see what's on this planet. Let's see what it really is. I tend to believe scanning the planet more than I believe that thing. Something may have updated at some point and changed things. And yeah, that's definitely cactus flesh, so... Alright, we are going to have to leave the system after all. I'm not crazy. Let's go ahead and upload everything. Yeah, it says incandescent. That's so wild. Alright, well, let's go zip off to another system nearby. Uh, it's a pretty good system, and it's a pirate system, so that's good. We'll get what we need here, and we'll get some pirate goodies. Well, if they have the proper planet, that is, uh, we'll get it, and then we'll get some pirate goodies if we can. Man, oh man. Hmm. Oh, we got us a decent little uh, fight going on here, huh? Right, let's 
take these guys down. Goodbye, pirate scum. Why oh, won't move? Okay. Alright, trying to catch up to him. A little dog fighting here. Come on, you're done, you're done. Ugh. Now you're done for sure. Did I not? How did I not get him? Uh, see, that other dude flew in front of me. I hate that. Right, let's get this guy and this guy. Dusting them up pretty quick. Couple left. Oh, this is the last, the last of them, I think. Nice. All right, let's see what this communicator has to say here. This isn't the ship I'd like, but it's not a bad one, you know. Um, it's. So what happens here is I'm going to have the opportunity to take this ship this freighter here and make it my own um, it's a nice design I like this design I call it the Star Destroyer look because it looks like uh, it's got that Star Wars feel to it from like the Star Destroyers but this is a smaller version of it I think um, I think this is the middle version there's a short one a really big massive one and then this one it's like the normal one but the main thing you want to look for is class in this thing and this one capital ship. It's a C-class, so we're not even going to bother. We will go upstairs and talk to the captain and take payment. Because um, you get some good stuff for that, at least. So it's always worth doing that, if nothing else. Even if you don't want to buy it, you go up here and I'll show you what you collect. Just going through all that, yada, 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 request payment. And we get a cargo bulkhead, which is nice. Uh, that's going to allow our freighter, when we finally get one, to increase its size. Or at least the size of the storage in it, I should say. Okay, so we got a bleak planet, a flourishing, a parched. Alright, we have a potential, we have an arid planet, maybe. I think it's kind of hidden behind here. I'm going to try to remember to go back to the space station. Yeah, this is the arid planet. Alright, and it's showing up the same way <laughs> here as it does on the uh, look at the whole uh, system, so that's good. Yeah, we'll go to the space station, we'll get some goods from there, and that'll allow us to actually fast travel back to our base, which is cool. Because then we'll be able to build that thing and be done with it. I highly doubt we're going to hire a guy this episode, because it's taken so long to do stuff, but that's okay, we're, we're going to have the next step done. We're going to need to build a new room anyway, but we're kind of running out of room real fast. Oh yeah, here we go. Just come in here. We're gonna, like I said, we're gonna look for some solarium and some uh, condensed carbon, if possible. Should be hard to see this stuff from higher up. It's got like uh, it's red and it's got little glowy spots on it, like most of the other special plants that you want to get that are specific to certain types of planets. And there it is, right in front of us. So, we'll bring it in. Yep, we do have our glove. And there should be, hopefully, plenty here. I mean, what do we need? 45, I think it said? Protection 
Yeah, look at that, man. We're already there. But we'll grab a little extra while we're here. There we go. Yeah, No Man's Sky in 2024 is still worth playing. Six years after release, still heavily supported. Still improved upon constantly. Sean Murray and the boys keep bringing it to new uh, systems like the Switch and Mac and all that. Uh, there we go. It's hot here, but we're going to be off of here soon, so I'm not worried. I think that's the last of it. It cleaned out that whole area, right? Ended up with 458, so I got plenty. I think I saw some sodium up here. Yeah. I'm going to grab that real quick because it's always useful. Oh, we got cool uh, creatures on this planet. We didn't find the um, copper I wanted, or not the copper, the uh, extreme, temperature ooh, extreme temperature, no kidding. Uh, we didn't find the carbon, condensed carbon I wanted, but that's okay, we can live without it. And we're off to the outlaw station. And let's see what we got here, a suspicious packet of goods. Oh, oh that's nice. That's very nice. Arms. And I don't really use that. I think that's about it, right? Yeah, I don't see any others around, so alright, well. We good, we good. Getting close to space station. And certain people tout different weapons in the game that they like, whether it be for the uh, multi-tool for your ship. And for me, it's not the Cyclotron. I'm not a big fan of it. I am starting to become a fan of the Neutron Cannon, though. I've got, um, I figured out the nuance of that weapon. Before, it wasn't really that effective, but I wasn't realizing you had to charge it up. And now that I got the DualSense Edge controller, it's a little easier. The feel of that controller gives you a little more control over how hard you're pushing down on it. And I'm able to use it a lot better with that controller, I believe. So that's kind of cool. All right, well, we'll grab some goodies. We'll upgrade our uh, suit. And then we're going to move on, head to our space station, or our, our uh, little house, I should say. Um, yeah, we're doing that for sure. Actually, let's do this one first. kind of want to square things off a little bit. It's so janky. Alright, so it's not a lot. You know, yeah, it's not a lot, but it's something. Nice looking explorer. But yeah, we're heading back to the overseer now. So we'll see what our buddy wants. Mesmerizing. 
Alright, so before we do anything else, we definitely want to improve upon this thing. Um, let's look inside. Yeah, can I have parked any worse? I bitch at Hobbit for parking like that in the Ark. Alright, well. Oh, we don't have a hallway? Are you kidding me? Well, I may be able to build it anyway for now. Yeah, I can put it... I can pick this up and... Yeah, I could do something. Alright. Well, let's talk to our boy here. Here it is. Alright, we can actually build that, which is cool. I think I can actually... Alright, I think I can actually go over here to the blueprint thing and get that. Go to structures. Ah, oh, no, it doesn't. All right, I was hoping it would give us the op the opportunity to do. Uh, hmm. Let's see what's here. Acquire a circuit board. Okay. Now it's giving me coordinates which are right here. No, that's 33 minutes away. Okay. Looked like it was right there. Um, you can't give, all right. No, I don't want that. See, that's what I hate. Acquire a circuit board. I think I have one. Yes. Okay, I got a circuit board. Now who do I talk to? Anyone? Anyone? Hey dude, it's in my inventory. I got a I've got an actual real life circuit board right here. Do you want it? He doesn't want it. Okay. Well, I guess we're going to have to do that next little thing where we got to travel to that observatory on this planet. So we'll pick that up in the next episode. For now, we're going to go ahead and wrap things up. As always, Cat TV with the Game Vault. Thanks for joining me today. If you haven't done so, please subscribe to the channel. Ring that bell for notifications. I'll see you guys next time. Until then, peace.